On Wednesday, Metro Manila and several key cities and provinces go back to a relative sense of normalcy as the government begins loosening up quarantine restrictions. The IATF approved the downgrade to general community quarantine for large parts of the country beginning September 8 until the end of the month. But at the same time, the IATF approved a shift to targeted and focused lockdowns on smaller areas called granular lockdowns. Magkakaroon po ng pilot dito po sa Metro Manila. At ito po yung tinatawag nga natin na mga localized uh, lockdowns. Roque says the guidelines for the GCQ will be released later, especially for the new granular lockdowns and the omnibus guidelines approved by the IATF last May 6. The following had been allowed under GCQ. Businesses are allowed 50 to 100 percent capacity on approval of the DTI, but LGUs are allowed to reduce capacity to a minimum of 50 percent. Minors and seniors are still not allowed outdoors. Entertainment venues still remain closed, but religious activities and necrological services are allowed up to 30 percent capacity. Only outdoor non-contact sports and exercises will be allowed, and work from home is still encouraged. It is not yet clear if these would remain in effect for this round of GCQ. The shift to granular lockdowns comes as many businesses teeter on the edge of bankruptcy. Because uh, we know that uh, with the citywide and the province-wide lockdown, uh, it's now guaranteed that there will be no, no new cases. And it's not really sustainable uh, in terms of uh, socioeconomically. With the granular lockdowns, officials are hoping to come down harder on smaller pockets of infection while allowing the economy to thrive in the rest of the country. But the shift to a looser quarantine status has left some experts worried. But the DOH is confident that this can be managed through granular lockdowns. If we can actually uh, do... Uh, uh, a very fast and intensified testing, tracing, and isolation of active new cases uh, within uh, probably in less than 48 hours, and I, the transmission will really go down. I'm Jacob Lazaro, and we are One News.